Freedom and Democracy Group. Nigel Farage has the floor. Mr. Van Rompuy, I hope you'll resist the calls for military action this afternoon. Indeed, the Liberal leader, Mr. Verhofstadt, made a very pro-war speech. I hope you will resist that on the grounds that there is no legitimacy or consent for the European Union to take military action, and that experience shows that if you go into military action, that may be easy, but getting out of it can be rather more difficult, um, and getting involved in Libya could indeed be a Vietnam-type experience. So please, please resist it. But on Colonel Gaddafi himself, I mean, I, you were quite right to say that what's happening in Libya is really very wrong indeed. But of course we knew that even before the uprising. Just last year he declared a holy war, a jihad, against the Swiss. He tried to blackmail the European Union. Do you remember? He said, give us five billion euros or we'll flood you with migrants. And of course he's the man who was happy to embrace Al Megrahi, the man who committed the biggest ever mass murder in British history. But what you didn't tell us in your speech was about the fact that you actually know Mr Gaddafi. Indeed, you went to meet him in December, didn't you? Do you remember? In fact, there's a jolly nice photograph of you and Mr Gaddafi holding hands. In fact, I have to say, I've never seen you smiling more or looking happier. I mean, perhaps he's an old drinking mate. I don't know. <laughs> but I wonder why. Why would you want to be photographed with Mr Gaddafi? And I put it to you that it could well be that since you were appointed as President of Europe and your sidekick, the noble Baroness Ashton, became the High Representative for Foreign Affairs, that you know that you've been seen on the global stage like a couple of political pygmies. As WikiLeaks showed, you were very unhappy that you weren't being recognised, unhappy that you were snubbed by Obama, and here was the chance to go along and be accepted by a head of state. I don't think that you there... Uh, parading with dictators was a very good or a sensible thing to do. Indeed, not just you, the British Labour government uh, made similar mistakes. But I do ask you, at this juncture, and with the horrendous things that are going on in Libya, I do ask you, do you accept that it was an error to be photographed as recently as December with Colonel Gaddafi? And will you please, please if you do, apologise for it? Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. The next speaker.